card. It is a 4-5 flyer for 5 mana in red. Are you in? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, uh, but what else does it say? <laughs> other text is curious. It's mm, a very curious text. This, is, this, down, this text is downside most of the time. Uh, uh, the because it says, whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery that targets only Mirrorwing Dragon, cough, murder, cough, that player targets that spell, or copies that spell for each other creature he or she controls that the spell... Oh, he or she controls. Yes. Oh. So if they murder, that wipes their... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. This card's amazing. <laughs> uh, so it, it's I, thought that, I thought that it just targeted the Mirrorwing Dragon's controller's... No, creatures. No, no, no. Never no. mind. This card's very good because this uh, is insurance against removal. Holy shit. Indeed. It's insurance against removal. And uh, it, it makes your pumps better. Oh my god. This better. card is it's, really, really good. I feel like the text is going to be less relevant than it looks. Oh yeah. Um, no, I don't think the text is that relevant. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean it's a mythic it's a mythic card anyway, so you're not gonna see it very often. And even so when you do, like you're gonna be like, alright, how relevant is this yeah. text? I mean, this is way better than Gold Knight Cascader. Oh yes, and <laughs> probably better than Flame Blade Angel. Yes. Probably. I, I think that if you just straight up look at this as a five mana four five, that's like, you know, removal spells get slightly worse. Um, yeah. Then I, I think we're pretty happy with this. This, four, this has got to be an easy A. Like I think it's an easy A. Easy A. This is a very very strong bump. Um, yeah, especially especially like if you look at the fact that um, a lo so little removal deals with five tough toughness creatures, and on top of that. A removal that does has to target all their stuff too. I, I'm pretty happy with this card. Uh, definitely. Uh, you can declaration this on yourself. Yeah. This is probably the best flyer in red. Uh, Drew Mocus Command. Uh, yes, that that is, as a in a limited situation, I I imagine that's yeah. <laughs> Wait, how exactly does Drew Mocus Command work? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, that card with this card. Um, well, no, because it targets only Mirrorwing Dragon. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so you would have to make it... So it hard. couldn't fight. If it fought, then it'd be targeting two things. Yeah, so um, have to, so you, you could only... Like, <laughs> the only mode of Dramoka's Command that would be relevant with this is if you put a counter on it. Yeah, so so maybe you're Naya, it, but if your opponent's <laughs> if your opponent's trying to do that, you'd be happy, right? Yeah. So yeah. You, you, give it, you give it plus one, plus one counters, and then all your creatures get plus one, plus one. Right, so. right, exactly. So if your opponent tried to do that, they would be very sad, and it wouldn't work out the way they wanted it to. Well, no, they they would get plus one plus one counters, and your guy would get plus one. your opponent. The opponent would. Yeah, each other no, they would. He or she controls. Uh oh. So their pump spells are also pump spells, right? Right. So yeah, they so they could force you to sack an enchantment and put a counter on the dragon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that is that is definitely relevant. Like that, they can pump your. Wait, no, no, but then they'd be targeting you. With the with yeah, the sack no, effect. Effect. no, it would never work with Mirroring Dragon. Okay, yes, but any pump effect with the it does raise a good point that casting a pump spell on Mirroring Dragon is good for both players, right? True. So if you cast a if you're a real opponent and you True. cast a pump spell, yeah. your guys still get still it get can pumped. be downside, but I don't think it's going to often it's be. It's not going to be super relevant. I, I I definitely think that it's not going to be super relevant. I do think that it could be really annoying if it does come up. Like you cast this and then. They alpha you with like that plus one plus one double streak uh card. Oh, sorry, name, name's escaping me. Um, from Shadows. Uh, Uncaged Fury. Uncaged Fury. Yeah, they cast. I that remember that because I've been blown out by more times than I can count. Yeah, you can, <laughs> by alpha striking by pumping your cards that way, that's gonna feel so bad when it happens. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna remember it. I think it's gonna be way less relevant than people think. Yeah. But <laughs> it's gonna be a very, very, very painful one. Yep. This is gonna end the game pretty quick. So. Yep. All right. Next. Oh, another mythic. Nahiri's Wrath, two and a red. Uh, sorcery, as an additional cost to cast Nahiri's Wrath, discard X cards. Uh, okay, this better be good. And then it uh, says, it deals damage equal to the total mana cost of the discarded cards to each of up to X target creatures and or pl Ainswalkers, not players. Womp yeah, womp. this is... Pretty if that said players, this would break every format, right? Well, I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you, just target, you just target the player like... That would almost be modern bannable. Like if that, do you discard? You discard an Emrakul. You, uh, you discard an Emrakul and you're something dead. target yeah. the opponent. Like yep. twenty damage and kill something in case you're not dead yet. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So clearly, you need to play Boros Reckoner and then discard Emrakul to hit your Boros Reckoner and don't. That's how you deal your opponent set at fifteen damage. I, I'm curious if this is actually good enough to play in Grishel Brand so that you have to, like as a discard outlet. <laughs> uh, because maybe it is right. Like you, you, you I mean, discard outlets. Maybe it's a one card answer to Karn. 
Yeah, you can you can discard <laughs> lands. You can actually discard lands for this, and all it, it add extra target. Uh, which I is think it's probably like, too slow for Grishel Brand. It is it's probably too slow, but it is it, it could be it could be maybe yeah, maybe we'll, yeah we'll, either way. Um, right. Nahiri's Wrath. This card is weird. I think it's um, very good. Like, I think it's, it's good. It's card it, disadvantage all every time. It's it's like how much madness do you have, and when are you casting it? Because if you're casting this on turn three, you're down a card, right? Yeah, it, you're always down you're always card, down right? a card yeah. if you're casting it for three. If you're casting it for five, if you have something that you can madness for two, right. you might be up a card, but you might not. I mean, but you're, you're probably even, not. You're, you're even at that point because the well, costs a card, and each of your cards costs. It, it depends on what you're madnessing. Right. Sure. Um, but generally, you'll be even. If you're right. casting this for seven, say, like we're talking seven mana, then you're almost certainly card even. You might even be a little ahead. Right. But I don't think this is ever really reliably going to be getting you ahead. No, it's never going to um, get you ahead, but it is going to deal with cards that you can't deal with otherwise. Right. Um, and the other means... awkward thing about this... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and that means that it is going to be... You're going to play it, right? Like I, I think that, that, the, that no matter what, you're going to play this, even in a non set. Just because it is such a very consistent removal spell. It's very similar to like a wrath, right? But it's um, like uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a wrath. I think it's more like a murder uh, in in most decks because yeah, it's a murder that causes you to discard a card. It's a murder yeah, that causes you to discard a card, and but most likely you're going to be discarding like two cards to murder something you care about, and then that kills two things. So right. I, 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 the, oh, the problem... okay. I see how. It... Oh, okay. Never mind. I was misreading it a little bit. So it does scale up a little bit. It does scale up when you discard more. Right. Because yeah, you discard two, then you deal the total cost to two different things. Yeah. Hmm. The the problem is, of course, you really don't often want to be discarding cards. Uh, like you, you obviously do for like delirium and madness. Opponent but... says it's kind of like lava X, but worse. Uh, it's definitely very different than lava X. Whether it's worse or not, I don't know. Like, Lava Axe doesn't go to this. Lava Axe doesn't go to creatures. Yeah, Lava Axe goes to face. This only deals with creatures. This never goes to face. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to rate this. This is a very weird card. I I, might, I think that it's Oh, yeah. This powerful. stuff is going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. I think that this is powerful enough to not be a D. No. Well, I, I don't it's think definitely it's, not a D. I think this is like a... Probably... Okay, maybe not B. But I don't think it's in the B range. Because okay, it's a so very cost. steep cost. It's a steep cost. Um, in some okay. decks, it's going to be a B. In some decks, it's... Well, also remember, chat. If you top deck this... It's, it's rough in a top deck. Yeah, you don't want to play this in a top deck. There are certain situations where this card is a literal dead draw. And right. that I don't like that about this card. And that's why I don't want to give it an A. Um, I, don't, I think the people that are calling it a high B plus to an A are yeah. a, a, a little a too, too high in the sky on this a, card. A is too aggressive. A, a, you're often going to be able to discard some card randomly that you you have left in your hand because yeah. like, you're going to be drafting like some some card card top that you may or may not want to be casting right and then this is going to, going to turn that into immediate value well and, and see moto grinder has like one of the best situations for this card laid out and that's why i think it's probably like in the it's probably like high c low b range because you know if you have if the board's pretty even mm -hmm. and you have this card in hand you just wait a couple turns you draw a couple more cards of gas you kill three creatures Right, you don't even you you have to draw cast. You discard lands, right? So that's, that's true. Okay, fine. So like you discard a land and a five drop, right. and you kill two creatures. Sure, like or three creatures, and you wipe their board and attack with your guys. That's pretty good. So like at parity, this gets a little better. At parity, it's very but, good. If you're behind, I think it's also right. good. If the, but the, so, the, the the here's the thing though. Here's the thing. Right. Like those cards, it's true that this can be really good in that scenario. But what if one of the cards you draw is a removal spell? Right. In that you case, you're not going to be that. discarding that to Nahiri's Wrath no, most of the time. Because, well, uh, sometimes you might. You, you will if you're trying to kill more than one thing. It depends right? on the situation, <laughs> but like the, the like you have to also remember the opportunity cost of the cards you're discarding. Right. So I definitely think that we have to look at this as, in a Madness deck, I think it is like, very good. I right. Mean, in in, if deck, you're in like... Madness, this card is bananas. Yeah. Um, and, and in a non-Madness deck, I yeah. think that it's still going to be in non madness. It's five. still probably like a B minus or C plus. I, I think it's, uh, probably so. Like on a... balance, honestly, it's probably. I think it's probably a B. Like maybe maybe a little higher than a B. Yeah. Like now I, that I'm I... thinking the different scenarios, this can be really good in a bunch of different ways. But you have to play as if you have it in your deck. Like you can't. 
like the the fact that this exists in your deck is going to like right. this is going to work the you... way you play right um like, it, and even honestly, if you don't have it in hand sometimes and i think that another nice upside is that it actually incentivizes the correct play style for red. <laughs> in some ways yes it does yeah because so it, it I, I think discourages that, that, committing over committing to the board in some ways yeah. So it's, um, so this is a this is a nice nice little upside there, which is right. it makes you play properly. Right, right. <laughs> but um, the, uh, the 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 in a lot of decks, I think it's just going to be straight up. Uh, or if you if you if you have this card, you're going to be playing it. I think we're pretty happy yeah. with it. Kane's does have an interesting point. Cards like this that are mythic or rare, your opponent's almost never going to play around them the first oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> so you know that does get a little bit of value that way. Yeah. <laughs> What did Soren do? Soren didn't save Nahiri when Nahiri's world Well, was... Soren legit stuffed her in the Hell Vault for a thousand years, so... There's that too. Even, mean... even if he had good reason to do that, she'd be understandably pissed. Yeah, and of course his her world got, you know, blown up because she's right. she a prison in the head. And she doesn't know that Zinnikar was saved at this point in the story. Yeah. So, maybe she'll regret what she did, but probably not. Anyways, um, what do we call this? I'm thinking, like, I'm, a, I, you know, I've turned around on this card. I think it's, like, BB+. I think it's a B plus. I, I I think that you're going to be pretty happy to play. It's a good reason to put, just be yeah. playing red, uh, because you know when you get it, like, you, 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 as long as you're not top decking and you probably you know you probably aren't aren't going to be uh, trying to like you're going to try to hold something in your hand for this kind of thing unless you it, unless it's like something relevant you can play and get ahead with, which means you're probably fine. I, I think it just makes your deck it draws so much more live when you have this in your deck. Yeah, definitely. The though the one bad case is if you have. No, like if you have a land in hand and you top deck this, that's yes. the worst case scenario, and that's why I don't feel comfortable giving it an A. Yes, I think like that it's there... as a removal spell. You want your top deck removal spells to be able to immediately deal with what your opponent's doing, and this doesn't always do that. Right. Sometimes it will, but it won't always. Um, I, I I definitely agree with that. Yeah, yeah, so that's why I don't want to give it an A. But I think it's like hot, like very very strong and super swingy, which is worth playing. Yeah. And you're definitely going to be taking it <laughs> if you open it. You're, oh, yeah. If you open this, take it, um, especially because it seems like it'll be really fun. Yeah. All right, next Sam Hot Dam says it makes bad hands better. Yeah, but, I mean... In, in the early game, it's very good. It, the problem, like you said, Well, is... it's in the early game, I'd say it's it's better in the mid game. Uh, I mean, I mean, whoever, whoever, however early 3-3 three, three mana it is, I guess. <laughs> no, I'd uh, say that it's it's probably best... When you have three creatures on the board and your opponent has three creatures on the board, true. Yeah, you definitely. You have a lot of yeah, no, no, no. It does say something that's true. If you have land in hand, you draw this. Just wait till you draw a spell. But you don't always have the time to wait till right. you draw a spell. That's that it's definitely awesome. true. But it or maybe the spell you draw is a two drop, and it this still doesn't do right. anything. Or if you're, the spell um, you drop is actually just better as a cast, right? Right. Like, the right. Often's going to be like, oh wait, I it's late game. I top deck my six drop. That's awesome. But I could also just discard it to wipe the board. Eh, maybe it's like. Is it better than before? Like, probably, but yeah. is it like a lot better? It's yeah. not that much better, right? Like yeah. your your six drop that was a you know six 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 or five five you know uh, flyer or whatever. You're like okay, yeah, this is a good card. It's mm -hmm. gonna help me help me get ahead, but you know also it can kill. Instead, I can discard all my hand and kill a bunch of things. Like that's better, but like is it enough yeah. better? Tutor four hundred two says, don't forget the discard's additional cost of getting countered is pretty horrible. That's it's very rare for spells to get countered and limited, though. Like, if if you're talking constructed, yeah, okay. Against blue decks, you do want to be really careful. But even blue decks and limited typically only play maybe one or two counter spells. What spell is better than deal its casting cost to creatures? Uh, um, not, not much, but... Not a lot. Two cards, including a card that's relevant against those two creatures, is right. worse. Right. It's possible that the card you have to discard is something that could block... A creature with two power, right? So I don't know. It, I think I'm happy. This is it. all semantics. Like I think we should always take that card and play it. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, next, otherworldly outburst. Um, target creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. When that creature dies, put a three two colorless Eldrazi horror creature token onto the battlefield. I think this card is miles better than Skin Invasion. This is a really cool card. So... This is really good. Yeah. Because, um, like, sometimes, like, okay, sometimes you're going to get the value out of the plus one, plus so. But usually that's not what's going to happen. Usually you're going to be attacking with a creature that's, you know, your opponent understands is reasonably going to trade with one of theirs. And they're going to be like, right. okay, they're trading their 3-2 for my 2-3. Yeah, that's fine. They'll right. block. Then you otherworldly outburst your creature. 
you know, both of them die, but you get a 3-2 back for one mana. Like, that's pretty sick. The fact, it's a 3-2 it's a for one mana that you can't have.